Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Breaking news tonight from Pulaski. In barely over an hour, a jury finding Anthony Waldron guilty of murder in the death of his 17-year-old stepson, Jordan Brooks. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining us live with more on the verdict. Andrew, that verdict came quickly. They didn't spend much time deliberating. Is Waldron guilty on all counts in the death of Jordan Brooks? Christy, all but one. There's one count that would have been a backup if the jury didn't convict him of the highest charge of murder. Basically a backup charge that got thrown out because they did convict on the highest charge murder and then all other subsequent charges. The, the judge was planning to keep the jury late tonight to try to get this over with because the trial's already been delayed so many days, but the jury didn't, didn't even need all that time taking fewer than 90 minutes of deliberating realizing that they had to convict him on murder. And we just a few minutes ago saw Anthony Waldron leaving the courthouse. He was taken into custody last week because of all of the drama he caused by not showing up to court and his attempted suicide and then threatening police officers. So he was in custody for the first time today, but now he is taken into custody as now a man convicted of murder, the death of his stepson, 17-year-old Jordan Brooks. The question the jury really had to answer amongst itself is was this man was anthony waldron responsible for this child's care he was not the adopted stepfather but he did according to prosecutors assume fatherly duties and should have been able to care for jordan the defense saying no he was never the legal stepfather so why why would he uh have the same responsibilities when his mother the boy's mother lisa waldron should have been taking care of him and pled guilty to not taking care of him ultimately the jury saying the evidence is clear to them i actually spoke to some jurors remember they're not allowed to talk about the trial during the trial but afterward they're free to speak they didn't want to go on camera but the foreman of the jury said that there were only a few people with with doubts going in they were able to Talk, talk amongst each other and all come to the same agreement that this man is guilty of murder, Jeff and Christy.